Hi everyone, welcome to Stampin' Storytellers. Today is video one of my Color and Contour online stamp camp. This month is five projects. This is the fifth one that we're going to make in this video. So there's five projects. Included in the class is the bundle. If you already have the bundle, you can order the projects separately. Um, so that's the stamp set and the dies. You'll get a third of a package of the Elegant Faceted Gems. And this is how our um, cardstock packs come. So everything is pre-cut um, and scored for you. You need your own stamps, dies, ink, blocks, adhesive, that those standard crafting supplies. But I have pre-cut all of the layers and um, I even pre-die cut the flowers for you because I'm going to show you how I mass produce them on my Stamparatus. So to get started, I'm going to need four of these flowers for this project. So I have it pre-mounted on my Stamparatus. And I'll show you that here. So I just have a template that I've die cut one flower out. So I've inlaid that back in. And then I take the stamp and I line it up with my die cut here. Lines up on the flower there. And then I can put press it down and pick my stamp back up. I am actually going to switch and do the outline first. So that's on this side of my plate. So in order to do this, you just have to ink up your stamp and press it down. That didn't work. Let's try that again. I'll clean off my stamp. It must have shifted a little bit since I did this last time. Okay, so I'll put my magnet there. And this is easy once you start. So that's gonna go right like that. Then I'll pick it up ink up my stamp and press it down and that didn't quite get all inked so the benefit of our Stamparatus is that we can do it twice. So now I have that image then you can do this one at a time so I'm going to do all four of the outlines and then I'll do the insides. So now I'll leave that one in there and I'll clean my plate. With this is my Simply Chamois. It's just water on it to be able to clean my stamps off. So now I'll flip over my plate and I should have I'll have to line this one up again to make sure it's actually lined up. There we go. And it is kind of an abstract image so if it's not lined up perfectly you're not going to tell but obviously if it doesn't stamp on your die cut then we'd be able to tell so ink that up in melon mambo and there's my first one I'll put all my other ones back in here and this is I find this is faster doing it this way than if I was to stamp all of these and then line up the die each time. It's quicker for me to die cut a whole bunch of these white flowers and then ink it up on my Stamparatus after. So 
there we go. Now I have, I'll put this messed up one in there so I don't get ink on my gray foam mat. So there's my trick for us today. Now we're going to make a card kind of like a never ending card. I don't know what it was called. I saw a version of this done by Rachel Tessman. So you have a scrap of basic white. Then I have a layer of our In Good Taste DSP. You can see on this side that it is scored at a half an inch right here. And then one and a half, two and a half, and three and a half. This piece is four inches by four and a half, and that, so it's scored four times on there to be able to make, we're just gonna make a tube with this piece. And this is opposite of what you would think, is the side that I want showing is the inside, and you'll see that here in a minute. So I'll get my Tombow on that half inch tab and fold it over. So this is just going to be a one inch tube. Then I have four pieces that is two and two and three quarters by four and a quarter and these are all basic white. These I like to keep all the same color just for consistency in your card. So we're going to make it go this way. So I'm going to, let's see, this way. So I'm going to line up the the right edge of my cardstock with one of the score lines here. So I can put adhesive just on this tab and fold that or hold it down and line it up along that score line. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the other side. And I'll show you why in a second. So now that I have those two pieces, this is now the size of your, the full size of your card. Now I'm going to put two other tabs on this, just on this side. And the reason I did those other ones is because I wanted to make sure that those two are straight because this is the width of the card and you want to make sure that you have all of your um, edges lined up. Okay, so here's our fourth piece. And now you have a never ending card that goes in a panel like this. So I'll let that all dry and then I'll show you what I've done to decorate them. I have my pieces all laid out in order of um, each panel. So this is our finished card. So we'll take this one and then it folds open and then it folds again and then this is the section where you write your message. So this is my front where it says for you. And then it just keeps going. And you can see on the inside is the coordinating pattern that I wanted to match the outside of my card. So now you can decorate this however you'd like. It's just basically a pinwheel on here. I've paired mine with the In Good Taste DSP and um, Melon Mambo. And that's what I've done my little daisies with and these are from this color and contour stamp set. So what I've chosen for each layer is a piece of DSP that is two and a half by four. So you'll need four pieces. I've just done coordinating patterns from that paper stack. And then on the left hand side of each one, you'll need a piece of cardstock that's one and a half by four. You could do um, just a solid cardstock, like I've done a melon mambo layer for each side, 
or you could do um, more coordinating pattern paper depending on what you wanted. Um, so that's as far as I'm going to go on the video today, but I just wanted to show you how to make the base of your card and then you can turn it into this. So on this side I did some stamping, um, one of those daisies with a, a stem is actually stamped and die cut from this stamp, but when you cut it, when you die cut it, then I just cut off this top part and just used the stem for my daisy. Then on this side, I have some embossing. These, this is a vellum um, contour die. Um, one of these die cut with a little spatter stamp. These are the cent, the it's one sentiment, but I cut it apart. Then on this side, I have some more. Um, vellum detail with the scalloped die from this set. Um, one tiny little strip of DSP. There's three of my daisies and then another scalloped die from this set. And then this is where I'll write my message. So these three flowers are actually these three that I've cut out. And then a, a scalloped die and one more scalloped die from this set. I hope you like my card today. If you'd like to share what you've made, you can share it with me on this post or on my Facebook page, Stampin' Storytellers, or I also have a Brandy Thompson Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator business page that you can share it on as well. If you'd like to purchase any of the products I've used in this video, please head over to my blog, stampinstorytellers.blogspot.com. I'd love to help you with your order. If you'd like to join my team, now is an awesome time. It is celebration and there is an extra bonus when you sign up during celebration. You get to choose a free bundle um, that is in the current holiday or mini catalog. So find one on the list you like, add it to your order when you sign up and you get it for free. Remember, celebration is for every $60 you spend from the annual catalog or the mini catalog you get to choose a free item from the celebration brochure. So the, there are two sets of dies. There are stamp sets, um, lots of DSP to choose from as well, and some beautiful glimmer paper. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.